Good afternoon, Bulldog Nation. Welcome to our first dog dialogue here in 2021. I'm Lance Franey, Sports Information Director here at the University of Redlands, and joining me this afternoon and our segment is junior men's water polo goalkeeper, Liam Murphy. Liam, thanks for hopping on with me today. Hi, happy to be here. Now, Liam, uh, we're underway with school. The season is also underway. How have classes been for you, um, and how does it feel being back on campus and having in-person classes? Uh, for me, it's been a blast. You know, I've always felt that the, uh, the Redlands, Redlands experience is something you can't get you know, through Zoom, you know, it's got to be in person to get the best experience. And I'm happy to be back, you know, in class with all my friends. Mm -hmm. Now you're from pl the Placentia area. So you are close by on, um, you know, how was it being a little bit closer to campus being at home in Placentia during COVID? Oh, uh, well, it was, you know, close to only counts horseshoes and hand grenades and not really with pandemics. So <laughs> you know, I was close, but I couldn't really, you know, yeah. You know, experience the whole, you know, Redlands community and be a part of it. So that was a bit of a shame. Yeah. Now, what did you really like about the University of Redlands that really drew you from going, coming from Placentia all the way out here? Uh, for me, it was uh, small class sizes. Um, got to sat in on a, a couple of political science classes and I really enjoyed them on my visit. And uh, the team was really inviting and I just kind of fell in love with it. And I feel like it's something you don't, you don't get everywhere, say like a big state school or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now in 2020, the team played just two games. Yeah. You took on Cal Lutheran University a couple of times due to COVID, but you now have a full slate this year. How nice is it to be able to play a full schedule? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, I love, love the competition. You know, it's a lot more fun to get excited about water polo when you, you don't know what's coming. And, you know, I appreciated the two games we got last year, but it's like, uh, all right. We, we know Calu. We played him a couple times. Let's go do it again and again. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's less enjoyable than uh, what are we going to get today, you know, mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, you know, your other Sky Act teams. Now, talking about this season, you guys are off to a slow start, but you've played one of the toughest schedules in Division Three, which includes six Division One opponents, two Division Two teams, and you took on what you're called the reigning 2019 Division Three Collegiate National Champions. How is the team feeling despite the start? Well, you know, I feel like, you know, our record's not really indicative of the, of the talented team Ryan Hall's put together. You know, a couple, couple one or two goal games, you know, the outcome could have changed, you know, based on one call or one goal or something like that. So I'd argue, you know, the team, team morale's high. You know, we're ready for what's coming next, and we think we can do big things still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've been playing some of these big teams pretty close, um, including that Aggie tournament where you took on Santa Clara's, the Cal Baptists, the um, San Jose States. You were taking on some big teams there. But do you feel you guys have been progressing and growing as a team through the latter part of the, the season? I feel as though we have. You know, there's a lot of water polo left to be played, but uh, the team's growing, you know, especially when you got a lot of young guys who are, you know, forced to step up and, you know, play a lot of minutes early on in their careers, you know, mm -hmm. you get, you get through the growing pains a lot faster than normal. So I think we're on the right track. Now you're under first year head coach, Ryan Hall, who was an assistant with you. Um, and he took over after Tom Whitmore uh, recently retired from coaching. How has that transition been? Uh, it's been a really smooth transition. You know, Ryan, Ryan's a coach with a lot of experience and uh, you know, I think, you know, he's got a lot of knowledge that he can provide to our young team. Mm -hmm. Now, the team's battle injuries, you know, including yourself, our backup goalie as well, and uh, a number of other injuries to the team. Now, how are you feeling now, and when do you think you'll be back uh, in the pool? Uh, well, I'm trying to get back in the pool as quick as I can. I'm doing everything I can, you know, working with our trainers and, you know, the team doctors. And, you know, hopefully I'll be back as soon as I can, and I'm mm -hmm. doing everything I can to expedite that process. Yeah. Now, do you feel a lot of injuries have been a reason for the slow start at all, or is it just because you guys are playing such tough competition? Um, I don't think the injuries are the root cause of anything, you know, with any team, you're going to have injuries, you know, and you just, just kind of got to deal with that. But, you know, we have a philosophy of, you know, the next man up. So if, if somebody goes down, you know, the next guy's got to step in and uh, start making plays and, you know, we just, you know, we've been a little unlucky, I would say, but, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it's tough competition. It's all about, 
you know, preparing for sky X and, you know, we still got a long road to go and we'll, we'll be performing much better. Yeah. And you have a chance to make the sky postseason tournament. Still, you've had a tough start to the schedule playing some tough competition, but now you're in conference play on um, a big game tonight against Chapman university, but looking towards the future with the remaining part of your schedule, which includes majority of conference games, what does the team need to do to pick up some of these crucial victories? Uh, well, I think we just got to, you know, keep playing hard and the rest is going to come. You know, we got a lot of talented guys out there and we just got to start, you know, making plays. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that we'll be able to compete, you know, the rest of the way and, you know, hopefully make this guy like a uh, postseason tournament. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about a lot of a lot of this uh, youth that you have on your team. You have over 30 guys on the roster. A lot of them are very young, um, but they are getting quality minutes. Ha- have you seen that as well this season? Uh, yeah, you know, there's there's 14 freshmen, and you know, a lot of them have been forced to uh, you know step up, and I say forced, but you know, they're rising to the occasion. They're they're some talented guys, and I'm, I'm happy to be you know teammates with them. Yeah. Now the biggest thing for all of you, and I've watched at your games, is just having fun. You guys are having fun out there. You're enjoying the time in the pool, being back from COVID, and uh, you know, and that's great to see. Now. You have a full schedule moving forward with Skyac play, but I have a few more questions for you just to kind of get to know who you are. These are some rapid hot seat questions for you. Um, but first thing that comes to your mind when I ask you these questions. Okay. So the first one is what's your favorite food? Uh, favorite food's gotta be uh, pizza. Pizza, any kind of pizza. Oh, well, it's usually pepperoni. Um, okay. I'm not a huge deep dish guy, but you know, I okay. love pizza. So just plain pepperoni. And pepperoni. Okay. Okay. How about uh, favorite music or genre, favorite singer? Genre. Well, I love Metallica. You know, I love to get heavy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, okay. That's kind of my go to pregame. Okay. Um, and then here's another one for you. If you're stranded on an island, what would be one thing you would bring with you? Oh, man. That's a tough one. <laughs> um, let's see. It's always interesting to see the comments on this. Some people are thinking logically. Some people mm-hmm. just want to have fun with it. <laughs> well, you know, if, if you want to think logically, how about a radio? But, uh, you know, <laughs> I could I could do with like a water polo ball or something, you know, get my own little Wilson. <laughs> okay, there you go. And then uh, the last one, dream destination for you. Where would you love to go? Uh, I would love to go to Ireland. You know, I guess it's in the name. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. Well, Liam, that's all the time I have with you for today on our uh, first dog dialogue here in 2021. I want to thank you so much for hopping on with me today. Um, Good luck with the rest of the season. Good luck with the injury and getting back into the pool. And uh, we'll be able to catch you uh, here shortly at the Thompson Aquatic Center. Yeah, let's hope so. Thanks for having me. 